Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder. Catholic Women Now is underwritten by Vermar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Well, welcome to Catholic Women Now here on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network. We're so delighted you're joining us again this week. When we got an exciting guest today, we have Joe Hayes. She's from Australia. You know that Aussie oh, you're accent. Gonna, you're gonna oh. love her accent. I love her accent. I was just telling her it's such a gentle, sweet yes. accent. I love it. You know, it's kind of like a southern accent where yep. it just anything you say just sounds so sweet. Mm-hmm. And you can be telling me off, but it only sounds so sweet. <laughs> well, and I think you know Matthew <laughs> Kelly came years ago to the Christ Our Life Conference, and yes. everybody's like, "Love that accent." I know it's yeah. kind of dreamy. You know. <laughs> So, you said it. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, anyway, um, so she's joining us today. She's actually got um, quite a quite a ministry going that she'll tell us about. She works involved as a Catholic speaker, but she also has a story about Lexio Divina that uh-huh. um, we've talked about it on the show, and we a lot of people know what it is. But we're taking the angle that she's got personal testimony yeah. with it in her life that mm-hmm. we would like her to share, and also she does series for Shalom TV. Yeah, so and, some of you may have seen her on that. Yes, and so we're going to talk about her new series coming out after Christmas, right? And let, they, they may have also seen her on the news because she's a news reporter in Australia, so Queensland. Been to Australia. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah. And she spent some time in Iowa. And yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it'll be fun to talk to her. Well, should we start with a prayer? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we've got a few things coming up. It's so exciting. Things are opening up, um, and people are getting together and want to get together. I, uh, the Man Up uh, West Power Lunch is going to come up, be coming up uh, tomorrow, Friday, November 12th. It's at noon at St. Francis of Assisi Parish in West Des Moines, and the featured speaker is Johnny Carlson, the Oop Feedum Coordinator mm-hmm. at Dowling Catholic High School. Lunch is provided by the West Des Moines Chick-fil-A. And also join our Catholic Radio and Catholic United Financial Experts tomorrow as well for a Medicare. Oh, nope, that's not going to happen anyway. That was last week. Oh, I had the wrong date on here then. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy's behind the window going, no, no. (laughs) Sorry about that. Um, Save the date, though, for Iowa Catholic Radio's dinner in December. Saturday, December 11th at the Embassy Suites downtown, we have Paul Zuccarelli, who is going to be telling us his testimony about his near-death experience and how that changed his faith life. So that'll be a good That's one. That's right. That's good things mm-hmm. going on. Mm-hmm. And we there is a healing service that will be happening November 17th at 7 p.m. at St. Ambrose Cathedral and here in Des Moines. So if... Um, mm-hmm. If you have some things that you thought you would like to be healed, I mean, there's yep. a lot. lot and it doesn't of, just have to be physical. It can be spiritual, emotional. Spiritual, emotional. Mm-hmm. So Mental. come on. Yep. Um, there'll be prayer teams there. Mm-hmm. It'll be good. It'll be good. Well, you're listening to Iowa Catholic Radio, and this is Catholic Women Now with Chris Magruder and Julie Nelson. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be talking to our guest, Joe Hayes on Lexio Divina. So stay tuned. Thank you to Mercy One for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. From the cardiovascular experts at the Iowa Heart Center to the pediatric services of Mercy Children's Hospital and Clinics. Mercy provides complete care for Central Iowa's adults and children with more than 50 primary care and specialty clinics in the Des Moines area. Find a convenient Mercy One location near you. Online at mercydesmoines.org. The November Man Up Lunch will feature Johnny Carlson, Ood Feedem Coordinator, Friday, November 12th, noon, St. Francis of Assisi Parish, West Des Moines. Lunch will be provided by Chick-fil-A on University in West Des Moines. Learn more about the November Man Up Lunch at iowacatholicradio.com. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now provided in part by Permar Security, a Catholic-owned family business providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security, 515-244-5660, permarsecurity.com. Thank you, Ashworth Vision Clinic, for underwriting Dowling Catholic Sports 365 on Iowa Catholic Radio. Ashworth Vision Clinic online at ashworthvision.com. Ashworth Vision Clinic, 515-440-4610. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Faith on Trial provided by Paul Martin and Paul Mitchell, owners of Imogene Ingredients. Imogene Ingredients supply specialized feed ingredients for livestock and pet diets to improve maternal and young animal health in both conventional and organic production. 
Support for Iowa Catholic Radio is provided by Golden Rule Heating and Cooling. Since 1999, Golden Rule Heating and Cooling has been supporting customers with their rules to live by. Respect, understanding, loyalty, expertise, and service. GoldenRulePHC.com Support for Iowa Catholic Radio provided by Five Sons Naturescapes. Five Sons Naturescapes is a Catholic veteran-owned family company providing premium outdoor landscaping. Learn more about Five Sons Naturescapes at FiveSonsNatureScapes.com. FiveSonsNatureScapes.com Welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, where we're welcoming in today a guest, Joe Hayes, who is from Queensland, Australia. And Joe and I met through a mutual friend and got to know each other a little bit. And uh, I, I found out some things about her, and I'm, we're excited to introduce you to all of you listeners today. So, Joe, welcome to Catholic Women Now. Thank you so much, Julie and Chris. It's lovely to be with you today. Well, we, uh, I think listeners are wondering why, how we, how an Australian, because you're in, in the United <laughs> States right now for three months, yes. is in the United States, and why are you in the United States? Oh, look, they are great questions. And yes, the first one is a very obvious one because Australia's lockdown laws are infamous around the world. Mm -hmm. And I have been very blessed and it is all gone from start to finish. Been very blessed to have received a government exemption from the Australian government to travel to the United States for these three months. And it was a mighty miracle to make that happen and I'm very grateful but yes I have been allowed to travel and so all of my family and friends back home as you can imagine who are still in lockdown are quite envious of my travels and um, yes it is just an an absolutely anointed thing. I'm here (laughs) traveling around the states with uh, various different ministry projects so I am Basically, speaking and preaching the Word of God wherever the Holy Spirit leads me. Wow. And and how mm. did you even get into that? How did you get into preaching the Word of God? Well, gosh, it's it's such a an amazing story in so many ways. So basically, my day job back in Australia is as a TV reporter, as you as you mentioned in the intro, and I have been doing that for many years now. And over the last four and a half years, the Lord has been taking me on a very deep, amazing, joy-filled ride in the Holy Scriptures. And so I have been in intensive intensive study. I call it the Holy Spirit boot camp (laughs) in the scriptures, side by side with my job. And as I've just been delving more and more into the scriptures, I have developed what I describe to people as an insatiable appetite for the word of God. And what has birthed out of that is this insatiable appetite to preach the word to anyone and everyone that I meet, particularly Catholics and who I affectionately refer to as unbelieving believers in the Catholic Church, of which I'm for too many of my Catholic ears. So Mm -hmm. I went to church and I read the scriptures, but I didn't really believe them the way that I do believe them now, that they are the living word of God. They are alive and active. This book, I've got it in front of me, my Bible, it's not just a novel. It's not a novel at all. It is the living words of Almighty God. So actually believing it has radically transformed my life in every conceivable way. Well, you know, we um, had a conversation and you have had part of this radical change for you has come through the uh, prayer of Lexio Divina. Which mm. could you just kind of give us a brief overview of what it is, and then just give us a little insight to how this transformed you personally, and how if there was a time where the the, the scripture just spoke to what was going on in your life at that moment? Yeah, I'm really curious mm. about what a radical transformation looks like for you. <laughs> yes, well, lexio divina is a fancy Latin phrase for study of divine scripture, mm-hmm. so it's a 
practice that has a long history in our Catholic Church uh, of meditating on the, the scriptures. And my way of doing it is with the daily scripture reading, so the scriptures that we read in, in the daily Mass. And basically there's four different parts to it. It's contemplation, meditation, prayer and journaling. So I spend an hour minimum each day meditating and going through this process. But the way that it started was four and a half years ago and I can pinpoint the actual day. It was it was one of those experiences where I know that for the rest of my life I will remember that day so clearly. So as I mentioned, I'm a TV reporter and I was at that time living, really living the dream in terms of my career, this job that I'd been desiring for many years as a reporter with this network in Australia, Seven Network. I was doing that and things were going really well. And in many ways it was almost... uh, too good in terms of it was there were so many good things happening but there was so many of them that I was feeling quite overwhelmed and I had so many so many great opportunities coming at me but again like too many there was so many invitations for me to be involved in different projects and different work opportunities and different speaking engagements and All of these good things, quote unquote good things, but just so much coming at me. And I remember coming out of work this one particular day and sitting in my car and like, you know, that experience, I'm sure we've all been there where you sit in the car before turning on the ignition, you sort of sit there holding the wheel going, oh, okay, God, I need some clarity. I don't have clarity in my mind and peace in my heart, that peace that I know I should have as a Catholic woman. And the word that was so clear in my spirit at that time was discombobulated. I felt discombobulated. And I'm sure most of your listeners would know what that means, but it basically just means not having a a clear sense of what you should do, where you should go, having that, not having that deep peace. And I know that it was the Spirit of God that came up on me that day and clearly led me to contact a religious sister who lived in Brisbane, the city where I lived, and I just knew so clearly, you need to contact this woman and ask to meet with her just to talk about how you're feeling. And I had no idea at that stage that she would then become my spiritual director. It was really just to meet with someone who was wise and a very holy woman to just talk live. Anyway, I met with her. I called her that day and she said, absolutely, come in. And I'm pretty sure it was the next day I went in and saw her. She was a, yeah, as I said, religious sister. And she asked me a question that day that changed my life. I was told her how I was feeling and, you know, a summary of what I just told you. And she said to me, she said, Jo, do you read the daily scriptures every day? And well, or actually she said, do you read scripture every day? Do you meditate on scripture every day? And I said, oh, look, no, I don't. I, I go to mass pretty regularly. You know, I go to mass a few times a week and I listen to good Christian podcasts every day. And she said, yeah, that's that's not the same as your own meditation on the word. And, you know, I, I looked at her and I said, you know, you're right. Listening to someone else speak about God and the Christian life is very different to me actually having that one-on-one deep communion time with the Lord in scripture. And she said, I think it would really help you. And so I was desperate at that time. I was like, yes, anything that will give me my my peace back and clarity of what I should do and just a, a greater sense of direction in my life. And so she she taught me how to do Lexio Divina, and I won't go through that with your listeners today, but they can. There's plenty of resources online. Mm-hmm. She told me how to do it, and she said to me that she does three hours a day, and I, I was like, okay, well, I'm not a religious sister, and I don't quite have that time, but I <laughs> am prepared to give a good to give this a good good hot crack, and I'm prepared to invest quality time in this so that I can have what I can clearly see is is operating in your life. You know, she had this deep sense of peace that I was desperate for. Mm. So I went home and she didn't tell me what she thought I should do in terms of the the time, but I just made this commitment. I just knew it was in the, it was a clear word from the Lord, spend at least an hour. And so I went home that day 
And, and yeah, as you can imagine, you know, like any of us who have, well, who are living life in the world and dedicating an hour every day, is, it is a big sacrifice. You've got yes. to say no yes. to a lot of other yes. things yes. Yeah. to make that happen. And anyway, I think, I think when you're desperate enough, you will do anything. Yes. And I was just, I saw what she had and I knew that I wanted it, that piece. And so I went home and I sat down at my dining room table that very afternoon and I opened the Laudate app, which I know is the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops app for the daily readings. And I opened it and looked up the scripture readings and I had my hard copy Bible next to me and my journal. And I did my very first proper Lexio Divina that day. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that my life was radically transformed in every way from that day and it was so radically transformed spiritually physically mentally emotionally particularly the spiritually mentally emotionally like from that day I had that peace from that day I had clarity of my mind it was like like I was so amazed at it that I was like this if this is what can happen in one hour of this how could my life transform if I did this every day And I was, as I said, I was so radically transformed, just flooded with peace and every area of my life impacted from that first time that I was just so motivated to continue it. And I literally have not missed a day in four and a half years. Okay. I was just going (laughs) to ask you how how faithful (laughs) you have been to this, but I tell you, you have been like... You know, sometimes, you know, oftentimes when we were doing this show, Chris and I will say, it's not so much what we are bringing to listeners, but sometimes a lot of things we take home for ourselves. Oh, always. And I'm just like listening to you like, okay, I need to get back deeper into the word. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've Mm -hmm. let it slack Mm -hmm. a little bit the Mm -hmm. last couple of weeks and listening to you, Mm -hmm. Joe, talk about the Mm -hmm. fruits that have come from this is really motivating me. And I hope it's motivating all you listeners too. Well, this is Catholic Women Now on Iowa Catholic Radio Network. We're speaking with Joe Hayes on Lexio Divina. We're going to speak with her on the other side of the, the break here about her new series for Shalom TV. Musicians, liturgists, pastors, and guests join the Des Moines Diocese Chapter of the National Association of Pastoral Musicians at a Mass and Reception Sunday, November 21st, 3 p.m. at St. Ambrose Cathedral. Come make a joyful noise during the Mass, which will include a blessing of musicians. Following Mass, enjoy light refreshments and networking opportunities at the Pastoral Center. Contact Sarah Graff for more information. Des Moines IA at npm.org. Des Moines IA at npm.org. The November Man Up Lunch will feature Johnny Carlson, Food Feedem Coordinator, Friday, November 12th, noon, St. Francis of Assisi Parish, West Des Moines. Lunch will be provided by Chick-fil-A on University in West Des Moines. Learn more about the November Man Up Lunch at iowacatholicradio.com. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now provided in part by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security is a Catholic-owned family business supplying security systems, access control systems, video surveillance, fire alarm systems, and video doorbells. All alarm systems are monitored out of their monitoring center located in the state of Iowa. Permar Security, 515-244-5660, permarsecurity.com. Thank you, Ashworth Vision Clinic, for underwriting Dowling Catholic Sports 365 on Iowa Catholic Radio. Ashworth Vision Clinic online at ashworthvision.com. Ashworth Vision Clinic, 515-440-4610. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio is provided by Golden Rule Heating and Cooling. Since 1999, Golden Rule Heating and Cooling has been supporting customers with their rules to live by. Respect, understanding, loyalty, expertise, and service. GoldenRulePHC.com Support for Iowa Catholic Radio provided by Five Sons Naturescapes. Five Sons Naturescapes is a Catholic veteran-owned family company providing premium outdoor landscaping. Learn more about Five Sons Naturescapes at FiveSonsNaturescapes.com. FiveSonsNaturescapes.com Welcome back to Catholic Women Now. You're listening to Chris Magruder and Julie Nelson on Iowa Catholic Radio. And today we are talking to Joe Hayes about Lexio Divina. And um, we also want to talk to you about your show coming up, Overcomer, which is going to be on Shalom TV, Joe. But before we go into that, I'm sitting here thinking all the listeners are going, okay, you told us that 
Lexio Divina helped you spiritually, mentally, and emotionally because it gave you such peace. And you said it also helped you physically, but you didn't tell us how it helped you physically. So I just briefly tell us how it helped you physically as well. Yeah, great question. And I will say, and not only just physically, financially, relationally, professionally, like literally, literally every area. When I say every area, wow. I mean every area. Wow. <laughs> so physically, so basically, like when you're in the word of God, you get revelation of truth. That's what the scripture tells us. If you mm-hmm. abide in my words and my words abide in you, you will know the truth mm-hmm. and the truth will set you free. Mm-hmm. And the, you, the truth is that it won't just be the truth that will set you free. It is knowing the truth and believing the truth and then obeying the truth mm-hmm. that will set you free. Acting on it. And yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when you're in the word, the spirit reveals what is God's will for your life. And so as you sit and meditate on the scriptures, the Lord will reveal things to you and give you ideas yes. and revelations yes. and mm-hmm. just like just this amazing blueprint for how to live your life mm-hmm. and will empower you to do it with ease. And it- so in that time, I had just revelation and motivation to start uh, running. Well, I, st- I started a daily practice of, of running about the same time I started Lexio Divina. And I, through that whole process, just had revelation of how important daily, regular aerobic exercise is. And in the four and a half years since doing this Lexio Divina daily meditation practice on the word, I have Yes, my fitness has radically transformed uh, to the point where I've now run two marathons, 11 oh, half marathons. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> God is taking God. you to extremes. You're that is amazing. God. That is amazing. Yeah. Joe, yeah, I can see where this kind of getting into the, uh, understanding the word and hearing God sp- speak to you in your life has played into your series that you're, it's coming up on Shalom TV of Overcomer. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like there's a, a link here going on. A connection. Absolutely, yes. Look, the Word of God, it is the thing that gives us the power to overcome any and every situation in our life. You know, the Scripture tells us that we have died in Christ and it is no longer we who live but Christ who lives in us. And when Christ lives in us, He has overcome the world. Like we have the victory. We already have it. The victory is not something that is for you know, just the end times. Like we have the victory now. Jesus has died on the cross, risen from the dead. He has overcome everything. And when we are living in him, we have that victory too. Mm -hmm. And so the revelation of the scriptures, as I've abided in them each day and come to know them and live them, I have been empowered to live in that victory that he died for us to have. For example, and these are everyday life things, and this is what I'm really passionate about. The the truth and the truth and the victory that we have in Christ is not just for the sweet by and by, but it is for everyday life on earth now. And so when you face relationship struggles or trials, financial struggles, and that's a really big one. A lot of people, most people have situations with finances that they need God to work in. When you have mental health physical health struggles, whatever your situation is, we as believers in Jesus Christ have the power to overcome. But in order to overcome, you need to know what God's word says about that situation. And, you know, I say to people all the time, when whenever I have a, an issue in my life that I need God to come and move in, I speak to myself and I'm like, Joe Hayes, there is a chapter and verse for that in the scriptures, find it. <laughs> and so I will go, I will scour the scriptures. What I'll often do is just Google, you know, um, relationship conflict, if that's the issue, whatever it is, relationship conflict scriptures. <laughs> and I'll look them up and I will say, right, this is what God's word says. God says, if I never let mercy and truth leave me, if I bind them around my neck, write them on the tablet of my heart, I will have favor and high esteem in the eyes of God and man. You know, and whatever scriptures I have that I need for whatever situation, I will list them, I will journal them, I'll write them down, and then I'll often rip them out of my journal and post them on my pantry door or my bedroom door or wherever I can see them. I love you know, that. As I'm been... going about my day, I will, yeah, I will see them before my eyes and meditate on them, what uh, the truth is. I have been doing that the last six months, like putting them on a 
a post-it note and I put it on the cabinet by my sink and go over there every so often and read it. It's just such a nice reminder and think about it while I'm doing dishes or cleaning up the kitchen or and whatever. It's, and it's a way to change your mind to become a mind of God. It's the renewal it changes of the mind. The, it like is. In Romans. And, mm-hmm. and your thought life is what you become, mm-hmm. right? Yes. You, you yes. Know? Yes. Timothy says Absolutely. that. Yeah. Timothy, yeah. Oh, we are coming up against, we, we're coming up to close, I guess. Yeah, I we just looked at the clock. Oh my ah, gosh. That went fast, Joe. <laughs> wow. Did. It's so yes. fast. Well, thank oh. you so much for joining us today. We just really enjoyed our conversation. So uh, good Aww. luck with all your traveling and stuff, and the best to you, Joe. And may we thank make- you so much. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Support for Ca- Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women now provided in part by Permar Security, a Catholic-owned family business providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security five one five two four four five six six zero online permarsecurity.com. dot take us out in a prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear good and gracious God, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for the scripture. We thank you for those inspirations that you bring to us through your Holy Spirit as we read and pray and meditate. For you have all the answers, Lord, and we just praise you and we we adore you and we glorify you. Amen. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is prayed at 5.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. And so stay tuned because that means it's coming up next. And we would ask you to please consider supporting Iowa Catholic Radio by talking to your employer about maybe an employer match. Matching gifts are available with a lot of your organizations. So we just ask you to consider that. So thank you for helping us as we continue to teach, evangelize, and defend the Catholic faith. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder on the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. Iowa Catholic Radio. Catholic Radio.